Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to uh, Deathloop. In the last video, the game opened up a little bit. We got the ability to save our stuff for the first time. And we learned that two of the people, I can't remember their names, let's go check again. Carl. The game, the, the game loves to tell me the same thing over and over again. Uh, Fear and Charlie have been hooking up. Now, we already actually killed Charlie, but we're wondering maybe we can find Fear, and if nothing else, what we can do is uh, find out where they are meeting up. Now, we also, if we go into loadout, as you can see, we got ourselves, uh, where is it? This one, Shift, which we need 15,000 Residium to infuse. So the goal is to go to Fristad Rock in the afternoon, maybe, and, uh, yeah? Found a man lurking in a boathouse. No, we're not doing that one, obviously. We're doing this one. That's what we're doing, yeah. So the idea is to go to Frisad Rock, hopefully not die, basically. We need to get 15,000 Residium so we can save Shift and try to start acquiring and building up these powers, because that's going to be a big deal going forward, I'm sure. So... I'm not going to be a crazy, crazy person. <laughs> Someone commented in the last video saying that they didn't think of me as a shotgun person, more of a rifle person. And you know what? I would probably think the same. But then I think back to all the games I've played. World of Warcraft, I was a rogue. Which sounds sneaky, but I was a combat rogue, which is all about stabbing people in the face. Might have used some trinkets. I might have used a slam. Uh -huh. What's your point? Then I figured out how to infuse things. This is the first time. When did you crack that shit on day seven? Then why'd I have to do it again? It's got something to do with memory. Stuff you can't recall just sort of slips away. Fuck! Why do you even like this place? Because it is amazing! It's the only amazing place in an entire world of shit. You'll see it eventually. All I see is me one step closer to breaking this You always come around, cult. And that's when the real fun begins. So now I've actually been here at this time of day. Anyways, yeah, I was thinking back, so, you know, Rogue World of Warcraft, but I was thinking back to how I used to play Call of Duty, and I was not a rifle guy, I was not a sniper guy. I was a... <laughs> I was a run around with a shotgun slash uh, SMG kind of guy and blast people from really close distance. I'm actually a very aggressive player on most things, and I keep pretending I'm not. I'm not sure why. I feel like it's the wrong thing to do, you know, that it, the right thing to do is to be sneaky and... I do enjoy stealth gameplay, sneaking about, but I'm, if I'm honest with myself, I'm not the most patient man in the world. So, <laughs> sometimes it's nice to get a little aggro, you know? Shift's pretty cool, like I don't know if it actually helps there, but uh, but uh, it felt cool. Okay, so I'm actually not getting a marker. As you can see, there's no there's no direction. The game wants me to actually figure things out for myself, which is disgusting. The photograph implies that the lovers meet in Fristad Rock, somewhere near the shoreline. So we're looking for, it looks like an 09. Wait, I should be able to check that in a little bit more detail, right? If we look at... Uh, do I, I was just wondering if I could see the photo. I don't think I can. Okay. The lead isn't... Oh, oh, It's a gun one! Oh, that's the complex, I'm not there. Wait, is there any of these where I am? No, let's just, let's just keep doing what we're doing, it's fine. So we're looking for building 09, and it says, I believe, that it's somewhere near the shoreline, as you can kind of see. Near, actually, you can see in the water, there's something poking out of the water. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna head down that way. And uh, hopefully find some residium along the way. We can kill this gun. I love the song. These two are already infused. Actually, so what we should do is replace both of these guns as well so we can um, convert the others into residium. Da -da -da -da. That didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work at all. These turrets are insane! They shred! They really do. Alright. Shit. Fuck. Ah. 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 Ah
maneuver! Cover me! I'm gonna get a tactical advantage! Whatever! Didn't work! Why didn't it die? <laughs> Screw you, turret. Maybe screw you, Eternalist, as well. Love this gun, by the way. Big fan of this one. I might just swap out the... I'm going to swap that out, because we should, if I remember correctly, that gun will come back to us, right? So we're going to basically rely on this one for this playthrough, for this, for this level. A long holiday. <laughs> and then we'll, um... Yeah, I, I know what I'm talking about. I think. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm guessing that I know what, I talk, what I'm talking about. Still not seeing the thing sticking out of the water, though. I'm going to have a quick little peek upstairs. It is important we explore, because like I say, we need that uh, residium, so. It's not really an upstairs, is it? <laughs> okay, let's carry on. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just exploring. It's disgusting. Maybe Fia is... Oh, hello. Fia, fire, she could be here, you know. I can't go that way. So, where am I meant to be going? Oh, 09. It's very sharp, that thing. I mean, I'm in for a side rock, right? Yeah, I mean, even if I'm not at the right time of day to find... Obviously, Charlie's dead, to find Fia. It doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to find the location. We're kind of just scouting for future runs, if anything else. Because then we can kill Charlie and Fia together. That's the idea. Head of security. On either head of security? <laughs> yeah, this is where I was in the past. Yeah, I was just having a little look around for uh, trinkets and stuff like that. Trinkets are cool because we can sell all of them and we can carry more of them, more importantly. Guns, you can only carry three, but trinkets, we can carry as many as we want. I am sexually attracted to this gun. <laughs> it's like a automatic shotgun. It's a beast. Okay, so I'm down here at the coast and I'm not seeing the thing that they want me to see. What I'm wondering is if I can get round to the other side, like over there maybe, or like, like further onto the left potentially. Right, I don't want to go down there. We've been down there before <laughs> very, very badly. We're not doing that. It's madness. I'm interested to see how they mix this up. There's actually only four levels. Now, obviously, there's a lot to explore on all those levels, but I still think that gives them quite a challenge of just making it feel continuously interesting. You're all the times of day and stuff as well, but the, the, the basic layout is going to be the same, so. Let's have a little peek over here. No. Not seen it. I mean, if I don't find it now, I'm not too bothered. I'm still gonna. I'm, we're just here to get Residium, really. So I'm gonna have a little explore, a little poke around, see what's what. It's a whole new area up here. Storm shelter. Interesting. Mainland traitors and spies. Bastards. I don't want to cause a disturbance. Hello, exemplar personal trinket. Cool. And intelligence archives access. Code is 6B5. Close again when finished. Here we go. Agent Redfowl's code for the intelligence archives. That's awesome. In Spy's headquarters in Fristad. So we, see, we just, we just walked around and we stumbled upon a spy lair. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to, where that's going to get us, but... Complicated ass looks. It's sort of. Oh wow. Okay, so I mean, surely uh, that code I just got six B five is one of them, right? Because it is a number, a letter, and a thing. But that means I need two more. Interesting. Okay, so there's somewhere out there, there's another two codes to enter that complicated ass room. 
All right, cool. Something to remember for the future. So far away, yeah. Honestly, addictive. Have a little poke around. Oops. That's the exit, isn't it? I don't want to. I don't. I'm not here to leave. Not yet. I am a little perplexed because I don't see another way to go. I can't seem to get through to the right at all. Like I've been here. This is where I came before, right? So how do I get? Like it's, it feels like the the coast is always on my left, essentially. I wonder if you have to come at a certain time of day. I wonder if there's certain, if for whatever reason, that isn't visible in the afternoon. Maybe it's like something that crashes and it has to be at nighttime, or maybe they remove it at some point or something like that. I'm going to move on. We're going to do something else just for now. We're going to go do this. So I think I have to leave. And then we'll have night time. We're going to get through. Oh, hello, JK. Nearly missed you, though. I mean, we're getting there. We're up to 9,500. Step in the right direction. So we're going to leave, and we're going to try to get this. This is a um, an arsenal lead. And hopefully we can keep that, the trinket, and the power. And that's kind of my, my goal for today, basically. But I only have one more time session left, so we need to make sure we cram everything into this evening that we can. Get as many points as possible. We're just gearing up, really. And we found, you know, we found the, the, the spy thing as well, which is cool. I got this. What is that? The hacker magic can detonate hacked devices. Yo! That sounds amazing. Okay, I'm going to keep hold of that. Whether we'll be able to afford it, we'll have to wait and see, but I'm going to keep it together. Okay, so we're going to go to the complex in the evening. Yep, yep. A little loadout change. I might as well put this one on. Oh god, I've got loads. Barehanded assassinations are quick. Oh, tons of these things. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's stuck to the nines. I don't know how this happened, but there we go. Awesome. So you can see if I... So that's the, the trencher... No, this is one I picked up, right? The pepper mill. But if I swap, I should... Where's my gun gone? Ah, I was clearly wrong, because the gun I thought I kept has disappeared. How does this work? Is it just if you die? So you still can't drop the guns. I thought you could. Oh wait, no, it'll come back tomorrow, won't it? If I remember how this works correctly. So what I want to do actually is... If I unequip that... Why can't I sacrifice this for anything? I have no idea. Okay. Well, apparently guns can't do much of that about that, but... It is what it is. Whatever. Right, let's go! To the complex. So we're going to try to kill Igor. Get the Aether Slab. We're going to try... Yes, yeah, so we're going to try to kill Igor. We're going to try to get the weapon that I'm trying to get. The uh, the weapon lead that I'm on as well. Lots to do! Not allowed to die. <laughs> I'm going to need like... 50, 40, 50,000 Residium to pull this off, so... Let's, let's see how it goes. That's quite a that's quite a high mark to reach, to say the least. But it'll be fun, fun, fun in the sun, sun, sun. Fun, fun, fun in the sun, sun, sun. It's cold outside. Huh? I just killed you. You did technically, but you also didn't. It's kind of hard to explain without complex diagrams. How many versions of you are there? Versions, not really the right term. Don't worry. There's one me that you need to kill, but there's also other me's that will try to kill you, see? So you're hiding from me now. Never. I'm always here. You just can't remember where to look. She's a sneaky lass, is Juliana, I'll tell you. Exit? What? What? Aren't oh, I at the complex? Did I go to the wrong place? I'm in the complex, so why... Why would you want me to go? What? 
Why do you want me to, to leave? I'm confused. All right, we're gonna call. I what I suspect it is is that it's the wrong time of day, perhaps for the for that lead. It says it blasted open the complex, but maybe it's been looted by the time I get there in the evening or something like that. So. So, we're doing this, I guess. Egos buried to the glasses and research that's 45. Lab better show. Yeah, we're, we're basically, yeah, same thing, really. Trying to discover what his discovery is. He says he's made a scientific breakthrough. They weren't dead now. <laughs> Interacting with the security measures Igor has left, I've left around will alert him to my presence. Oh. Hey, Igor. <laughs> I didn't see the mine. <laughs> oh, that worked last time. Come on. There we go. Igor. Hey, yeah, buddy boy. I mean, the dude's gone mad, clearly. Can't get in here, can I? Apparently he shot everyone. I think he's discovered how to go invisible. I was miles away! I thought that was going to be I mean, I saw it in plenty of time. I just thought it would be absolutely fine because I was clearly nowhere near the bloody red beam. I was absolutely miles away. Am I crazy? Like, I was here. The beam was in that corner. That was a bit dumb. I'm not, I'm not, not impressed with that one. It's fine. We've got two more. One more. Two more lives total, I suppose. <laughs> He's clearly left a lot of stuff around, so I'm just I'm just gonna be a, a little cautious about where I'm stepping. Saw that. This is really why I'm here. Like, if it looks like I'm going to die, I'm getting out to save my. Residium, basically. You don't scare me, Igor. No one with a name like Igor scares me. Ego. Don't like the look of that over there. <laughs> That's very scary looking. That stance, big boy. You shouldn't draw me. Igor. 
Oh. Oh, silence. Oh, no, I want to keep this as well. There's so much I want to keep. I'm not going to use it now. I don't really need a silence weapon at this exact point in time. But still, that's very cool. I'll check those in a bit. It's, I'm, 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 I'm kind of prioritizing here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to... There we go. Shut up, Eco. It's interesting because so far none of the visionaries are difficult to kill, per se, you know? Ten thousand and a bunch of trinkets which will be hopefully turning into Zidium. Got Aether. Fuse the Aether slab. Sweet. What's it do? Oh! My ninja! Oh, it drains my power. Oh my god, it drains it like crazy. See, again, tons of alarm clocks. I'm trying to think, why would... Like, why... Oh, I should have read that. Whoops. <laughs> like, why would the alarm clocks link in with what we know? Is it because... It's something to do with, like, the time loop idea, right? That they start every day. Is it to maybe remind them? Because obviously they, they forget... A lot of them forget what happened the previous days. They kind of have to reset themselves somewhat. I think... I don't know. Right, new gun as well. What is this? Rapier. Zoom is enhanced. Okay. Need it. I need it. Eh. Right. Well, let's check. Uh, so we're done with that. So I want to find the data. Yeah, so whilst we're here, we may as well do a little bit more. It's pretty cool. It's like a sniper rifle. Intercom! So this is between Igor and Alexis. Success, I caught the signal. This proves it. Everything I've been saying, I'm afraid it'll have to miss your little shing, dick, though. This discovery demands my full attention. It demands the world's attention. Bah? <laughs> so Alexis is the wolf guy. I want to try to, like, piece together who they all are. So Alexis is the wolf guy. Julian is obviously the assassin. Um, Igor is mad scientist dude. Uh, Charlie is the gamer. Fia is Charlie's girlfriend. We don't know much about her at the moment. There's also the scientist who's working on the Residium stuff, who I don't remember the name of either. And I don't think we know the other two that well. Hey, Alexis, what time is the party? Well, your party, I mean, you'll have extra wolf masks, right? I don't want to be the only person without a mask. I am invited to the party, aren't I? Call me by my fucking candle, you sad sack, sack of sad shit. Fine, Alpha Wolf 69. So, when's your party? You didn't answer the question. You know we eat the lambs, yeah? You want to get et, little lamb? Maybe I'll be doing the eating. Maybe I've got some surprises in store. So you're going to let me come or what? You've got to let me come. You wouldn't even have this place without me. No island, no house, no party. Alexis. Foo, fine, Igor. Come over whenever whenever after sundown. Ass. That's so, right. if Igor's experiment never succeeded, he'd be at the party. Okay, so maybe we can come in the morning, sabotage the experiment, Ego goes to the party, Alexis at the party, maybe we can get like three or four of them at the party. You can see how it becomes like a puzzle, basically, to move, you're just trying to move people, oh, Wenji, she was a scientist, you're just trying to move people into the right direction. Wenji, it worked, it really worked, I discovered a disturbance in the meta channel, undoubtedly a transmission, this changes everything, congratulations. I won't forget you, I've never succeeded without your help. I am in no way responsible for whatever you're babbling about. Extratemporal contact, I'm talking about talking to the future. Archived. Can you smell that? Only professional concern compels me to ask for clarification. <laughs> the psychotherapeutic crispness of the air here. Crispness. With each intake of breath, I feel my mind sharpen. Don't you have some experiments to run? Yes, I'm out at Array P this very moment. This is where the magic will happen. And by magic, I mean quantum mechanics. You didn't expect me to be dicking around with us children in town, did you? Dot dot dot. Wenji, what? Did anyone touch my equipment? No one will ever touch your equipment. Asshole will keep screwing with the antennas around my lap. Bloody no, this is a conversation. I've been otherwise occupied with actual work. I don't have time to babysit your radios. You don't have to babysit anything. Just shoot anyone you don't recognise. We have people for that. They're the assholes I'm worried about. Wenji. <laughs> Wenji. What? Tonight's the night. Okay. I will give you the future. Okay. <laughs> Wenji is done with Igor shit. <laughs> That's fine. You don't have to believe me now. The results will speak for themselves, literally. Okay. <laughs> the guy needs to get the message. 
The wireless transmitters you had installed on the devices have been invaluable. We've earned yourself an acknowledgement when I publish my results in future communications quarterly review. Is that an actual journal? No. <laughs> so this is Harriet. Harriet, I don't really know much about. Your funeral don't make it ours. Ha! What about your great behind? Frowny face. Do not tempt power, lest power take your notice. Isn't power half why we're here? Power and discovery? Isn't that why we started, Eon? We can mantle our fear and our ambitions, but such only sharpens this likeness in the mirror. And no one ever tell you you're fucking weird. Never. <laughs> Archived. That self-lobotomized dickweed blocked my group channel permissions. Good morning, Igor. Charlie locked me out of the groups. He wouldn't even be here without me. No one would. Colt brought us here. Colt brought us here? Colt brought us here, and who found Colt? Oh, that's right, it was me. Who paid Colt's way out of that rat hole asylum? Me again. Who convinced him to help us? Oh, surprise, me. What's going on here? I take it you haven't heard. Heard what? About Colt. Look, I have a gathering to attend to, an explanation we'll have to wait. Heard what about Colt? Back. I'll have words with Charlie tomorrow, but today's work demands my undivided attention. Colt's gone rogue, he's trying to break the loop. You know what, what's, you know what must be done. Wait, what? He'll rush everything I should talk to him, reason with him. Colt's reasonable, usually. Juliana has it in hand, where are you? Way up here, Ray B, maybe stay out there. I can't, knowledge needs me. Bloody Nora. I still don't know what his... his uh, experiment is, though, so... It's... All digital clocks stopped functioning post midnight. A prank? No. Scanner's not tripped. All systems intact. Spiritual manifestation? Dubious. Minicom time stamps retained function. Loop began unforeseen consequence. Message from the anomaly. Minor setback in Price Sundial. So that's why there's so many clocks. He noticed all the clocks have stopped working. Took some effort to find that, I'll tell you. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. The, the tree. Oh, that's what that noise is. I've got to keep that in mind. If I hear like a bzzz, it's a trinket somewhere in the area. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Good, I'm good, I'm good. Ooh. Already got full ammo. All right, Colt, I get it. How well do you know Black Reef? Black Reef was recently discovered by Igor Serling and Colt Vaughn. Its unique properties convinced the Eon program to establish its very settlement. Tell me you finally see. You couldn't hide your expression when she asked for something from each of us, a talisman, she said, to personalise the device. Did the minicoms require the same? Did the nullifiers? She's as blind as the others, stumbling hopelessly towards the bigger land. Harriet told Igor that when she was deluded herself in thinking the anomaly's mysteries could be understood by science. Okay, it's day one, first day. Um, I am documenting on this tape my first day. Ah, oh, shit. I have to record this again tomorrow. Uh, um, all right, well, my path on the first day. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, because of a manufacturing defect, not my fault. I need to manually align each VF-22 listening device. Precise measurements. If I am correct in my theory, and I think I am, I will be able to cross space and time and talk to... The future. All right. Uh, the plan. Uh, Ray P in zone two. Then around noon, I plan to arrive at Ray R in zone one. Then back along the ridge line to Ray J in zone two this afternoon. And finally around the lake to arrive at Ray Y right outside my lab. Uh, zone three by this evening. My only real concern here is these fucking eternalists. <laughs> they, they, they just don't listen to me. They, their infantile curiosity is going to adulterate my findings. I know it. Igor, make them respect you. Fear! 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 Okay, well, we just heard his entire plan, you know, where he's going to be. Okay, statistically significant unknown external to Ireland demands increase. So he's using his radios to um, pick up signals, basically. So he picked up one external to the island, he picked up another that was Juliana, one that was Frank. Frank is the radio presenter guy. Uh, one triangulated to loop control center, he thinks it's Wenji, one of them which was Alexis Invitation, and one of them to the Updarm Library. 
One of Eagle's arrays registered an anomalous transmission. Okay, and then so. Okay. <laughs> right, so the idea, as I'm reading it, is to go to where he gets the big. So, right, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me try to put this into words. Um, he's got all these arrays lying all around trying to pick up radio signals, and he's trying to communicate with the future, because obviously there's a lot of wibbly-wobbly time stuff going on here. Time is essentially fractured, so it makes sense you might be able to pick up a radio signal from in the future. It's probably this thing, isn't it? And, um... Okay, man. And it seems he's got these devices planted all over the island. And one of them is in the library, and that's where he gets this very suspicious one that he believes might well be from the future. So that's why, you know, he gets all excited and he stays home to research it because, you know, he wants to... Because he wants to check it out. It makes a lot of sense. So I guess the idea for us is to go and sabotage the one in the library. Sorry, too late. <laughs> I was like, ooh, something's flashy over there. Let's go look at it. Um, so we go sabotage the one in the library. He doesn't pick up the radio transmission that excites him, and he ends up at the party. I believe that's what we figured out here. It's complex, I've got to say. This is not an easy simple game. Somewhere... Oh, wait. I never noticed this before. Hello. Ooh, I've never been in here. Alright, cool. A little poke around. Papers or anything? Just you. I'll teach you to mess with me, buddy boy. It's interesting because papers aren't actually highlighted in any way. Like they are if you waddle over them, of course. But other than that, they're not highlighted. So you do actually have to you have to give it a proper bit of exploration, or you won't find everything. Right, we need a battery. Hmm. Uh. Do I remember off the top of my head where I would find a battery in this section? Not really. A little poke. I'm not too worried about that right now, but it's just something again to keep in mind for the future. <laughs> like half this bloody game. Yeah. I think I've got quite a lot of stuff. At the very least, I've got tons of trinkets, which is making me hopeful I'm feeling just fine. that I'll be able to... Um, Get out of here, okay. Or be able to save some of the stuff that I want to save, you know? There's the fireworks there off at the coast, remember? Over at uh, Updarm. Yeah, alright. Off we go, then. Goodbye, world. So this is the last thing we can do. We can't do any more than this because the day's over, the day's gonna reset. So what I want to... Invisible at last, yeah. What I want to know is, um... Is, uh... Day's almost up, so now what? I loop, which means, wait, am I gonna die right now? Or is it like a dream? Is Juliana in it? Oh, fuck, I hope. <laughs> I want to see if I get the blue pistol that I dropped, basically. Okay. God, look at those trinkets. Jesus. You made it through the day. Choose one to see what you want to infuse. Yeah. Right. So. So, 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 so. Uh, first thing first, slabs. I'm gonna keep. Are we gonna keep shift up Afa? I think shift over Afa. Find upgrades by collecting the slab again. Okay. So we need, yeah, we need another fifteen thousand. So we need seven thousand more to get Afa. 
Uh, weapons. We picked up the limp. Oh, now I can sacrifice. And we picked up the rapier. Okay, so we've got two guns there. Let's have a look at trinkets. Doesn't it make sense to always sacrifice spring Kill? Am I crazy? Because don't you always pick it up again in the morning? I'm a little nervous to do that. Ah, look at that. Gas exposure does no damage. Oh, we need that. I want all of them. <laughs> uh, right. Moderately increased damage when attacking from behind. Sacrifice. Friendly nearby turrets. Eh. Generate more health. Eh. Turn us aim for the body, but bullets can still hit it. Eh. Make less sound. Eh. Move more speed. Eh. Sacrifice those. Eh. Okay. So that's 17,000. So we can get Aether as well, which is cool. So we now got both of those powers, like, permanently, which is awesome. I think the powers are the main thing you should keep, because as it says, you need to get them again to upgrade them. So if we don't keep them, then we're going to keep getting them again and again for the first time, and they'll never get better. So although it may pay me to get rid of some of these trinkets, I think that's a better thing to get rid of than uh, everything else. Okay, I've got 4,000, so we can choose either a trinket, yeah, I really want that trinket, that's the thing, the steel lungs one, because of course there's that gas chamber that we're in, um, I'm assuming this works, but there was that gas chamber that killed us on the shoreline, right? So I'd really like to get back in there and see what we can do. So I want to keep that one, so we need another 1250. We're not going to be able to afford any of these. I'm going to sacrifice Spring Heals, because that makes sense to me. It makes me nervous, because it is the best one. <laughs> like, it is the most useful one, to say the least. But I'm going to assume we can get it back again. Okay, so we've got that permanently now. And the question is, can we afford something else? I think we have to choose one of the guns. I think a suppressed... I think that suits me more than that. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like. I've got the. I've got my short range gun, sort of already. But that's loud. It's a choice between a long range rifle, essentially. I'm gonna sacrifice a rifle. I'm gonna try to get 8k. So I've got 3,000. 5,000. Uh, 7,250. God damn it. So I, I can't. I can't get this. There's no way for me to do it. I don't think. No. Sad. Okay, so we sacrificed both guns. And we can maybe keep... No. I can keep one weapon trinket, basically. I can keep one of these three. Oh, that's sad. Oh, well. Uh, hmm. Enemies suffer damage and lose more power when hit. I mean, seems good. Lose more power, so that just drains from, like, enemies who have powers. That's not really been an issue so far. Let me keep that one. Oh, I could have kept more, couldn't I? Yeah, that was dumb. Okay, well, that's everything. Hopefully this is making sense to you guys. It's only just about making sense to me. But I am getting there, slowly but surely. Seems Igor skips the party because of some successful science. Looks like I've got an experiment to scramble. Okay, I'm on the beach, that's good. Okay. Okay, so. So, 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 so. Uh, load out, first of all. Let's see, so these are my permanent things. I'm hoping to see. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Awesome. Right. So these are my two permanent guns, and I think you always wake up with a limp turn anyway. We may as well take one with us. But they're both perm. It's awesome. As far as I can tell, you can't sacrifice guns until night time. Uh, right, so we've got barehanded assassinations. Did I keep that one? Apparently. <laughs> I should have a few more though, right? Yes, yeah, so we've got Steel Lungs and we've got Spring Keeled, which we always get. So there's no point not sacrificing it, question mark, smiley face. 
That's cool. And you can see we've got all the powers as well because Afa and Shift were both infused. Awesome. It's coming together, folks. It's coming together. Right, so. Arsenal leads. I want to do... So these were all... A lot of these are... That's Shift's lab. I've got Shift, so... That's just about getting it again and again and again. But what I want is this one down here. This. A turn list blasted open. Like, is it going to... Oh, it says there the time of day. I didn't notice that last time. Herb dope. So that's... I don't know what that is. What is that? Is that morning? I think that might be midday. That's midday, isn't it? It's not morning. Morning looks... Oh, that's night. That's midday. Midday. Night. That's morning right there. That's midday. Okay, so we need to pick a lead. Hey, hey, we need to pick a, a, a morning lead, basically. Both Harry and Frank are only taking morning appointments. Let's see if the self-help guru can help me find the inner strength to kill them both. Harry is holding group wellness sessions in Hangar 2 in the morning. Okay, uh, we can do that one. We don't really know Harry at this point in time, so that's not a bad idea. Yeah, see, listening device B133 was responsible for the breakthrough. This is all the stuff we found out about Eagle last time. Any of these in the morning? Should be right. Yeah, that one. I think we'll go for Harriet. We don't really know Harriet, so that'll be interesting. So, Carl's Bay. Let's go. I'm going to get the Nexus slab. We're going to hopefully kill Frank as well. And we have... Oh, yeah, we have the, the Bowman safe. I don't know where the safe is, but I remember getting the code. Cool. On we pop. <laughs> I'll figure it all out eventually. <laughs> oh my god. It's hard work, folks. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's, it's a, it's a, I'm not saying it's like a immensely complex game, but it, there's clearly a lot of intelligent thought behind how it all ties together, you know. And you compare this to, you know, Holy Chewy. <laughs> you know, it's a different world. It's not the word I'd use. Yeah? Tell me about it. Uh, it's weird, but uh, somehow familiar. Uh, it's kind of a rush. Mm, this whole place is a rush, Cole. That's the point. Then why do I want to leave so badly? I don't know. Hard to hear your motivations over all that gunfire. Shots carry over. See, this is an interesting idea, this kind of moral thing behind it, in that people here seem moderately happy. And again, I've, I've pointed this out in like a previous video, but there has, there's been a couple of suggestions, but there hasn't been too many, I would suggest, discernible ways. Have I been here before? I saw some uh, thingy in here. Jesus! Danger everywhere! Going in! Time to rock out with my shotgun out. <laughs> oh, he's smart 
harder than he looks. Find him. So it's trying to move around while I'm reloading. He's still here. Oh, hello. Nope. Reloading. Damn it! Ah. Game really does punish you very hard. I mean, I messed up. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's hard to play aggressive when you have no health. <laughs> Ah! I'm getting wrecked! You can definitely play like this if you want, but I don't know if I'm ready to play like this, you know? I don't want to lose my Residium if I die again. We good. We good. Oh. I actually thought I still had shift out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I didn't mean to go invisible right in front of his face. Tough son of a bitch, aren't you? The Yerva. Oh, the Yerva. Isn't this um? The play the person that um, Fia was playing as in the role playing game. Oh no! I was looking at the Yerva. God damn it! I've hemorrhaged my lives so quickly. It's okay. It's fine. I'm not gonna lose anymore. Of course. Of course. Of course. Little concerned. <laughs> Little. Little concerned. Harriet Morse is a gatekeeper. Oh. Harriet Morse is a gatekeeper. Black Reef the gate. A veil hangs across the threshold. What do we discover when it parts? Oh, I was like a choose your own adventure. A, pal a place of pleasure, a place of pain, the kingdom of a thousand crystal palaces. It's that one, isn't it? That, isn't, that, isn't that what she said during the game? Oh. Wait, so was I right? It's hard to tell. <laughs> From what seed did Eon spring? Rambling Frank Spicer's touring fan club, the Eonics, the experiments with delivery office, and expansion to condition, da ba ba. Documents concerning the defunct Eon. I don't know. Okay, so this is like, we need tons of information discovered, and then we can come back here and put it all in. For some reason. Seems like a future thing, not a now thing. To be honest. If you can hear their voices, it's already too late. Fathoms of Lament, seek your fortune. Oh, is that ammo? Shotgun needs some love. Nope, I'm good. Alright. Most fearful in- oh, how do I get inside? How do I get inside? It looks cool. Maybe it's not- oh, here we go. Fathoms of Lament. Oh boy. Oh boy, howdy. <laughs> Um, wait, you want me to go that way? Is it in there? I just assumed it wasn't in the locker. That was silly on my part. Okay. Well, we got a trinket. PT Spiker. Okay. Was it a nail gun? I think so. Already got full ammo. Okay, but how do I? Maybe it's not. I think it's not open yet. You know. Fortunately. I 
carry its hanger. Oh! <laughs> I can't resist myself! Oh, well. This was, I will admit, considering I have no lives left, a pretty terrible idea. I will acknowledge the dumbness of what I'm doing. What I really want is a better shift, you know. I mean, that'd be a big deal. Running out of ammo! Running out of ammo! Three left. Ah! Gonna let my health regen a little bit. I've only just realized that's how that works. Fuck! Yeah, I just, I, I just, I played like an idiot. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, I didn't actually lose anything because we only just started this loop, you know? I just played awfully. I actually feel a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> Shouldn't it be daytime again? Yeah, so we just start back at the day like we did last time. We just go back to the same place and we'll try for the same thing. We'll be going back to the Nexus. Yeah, okay. I I, uh, I kind of played a little aggressive because I know I have to go. Unfortunately, I'm a bit on a, on a bit of a tight time schedule for today's video. But, so next video, nice and calmly, <laughs> we're going to go back to Carl's Bay. We'll try to take out Harriet to get her next slab, and then we're going to go to the complex. I can't remember. We're going to go somewhere else in the afternoon, in the midday, and try to get those weapons. Still a very successful episode, I think. We've got two new powers locked in, which is cool beans. Okay, thank you for joining me. <laughs> Cheers, much love as always. I promise I'll get better in the future. I feel embarrassed. It's really sad. Like, I, I, I just have such a, like, standard of don't be a bad game player. <laughs> be good. Showcase your best work. And when I don't match it, I feel guilty. I'm being too aggressive. I know I am. I'm going to calm down and play a little bit more stealthily. Like, the shotgun should be, like, a last resort. At the moment, I think when we get some cooler powers, we can change that up a little bit. But for now... It's like Dishonored. Dishonored was really hard if you got caught, like, right out in the open. And I keep doing it. I'm gonna be good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, thanks for joining me. Cheers, much as always. Bye-bye.